get set, go! All right, we got final destination here. All right, nothing, nothing's going on so far. Okay, we got, we got Kirby. We got Kirby doing a rock pot. There we go. Uh, I am not a professional Smash Brothers commentator, so I apologize if I am not a commentator. But, uh, okay. All right, so we got it. Okay. Oh, we got a Smash Brothers fight. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, we got another bubble. Oh, oh! oh. Alright, Samus is out. Okay, so Dark Pit and Kirby, can he take out Ike? We got another bomb. Can we do it? Can we see the win? Quick, huh? Oh, oh! Not yet. There we go. Oh! oh. oh. Alright, one on one battle. Let's do it. Ike versus Dark Pit. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. No, not yet. Okay. Like, oh, no! Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. We got the edgy oh, no. goth angel on the move. He's got a bomb and he's gonna do, no, not a hit. Oh, we got the music still playing? Oh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> All right, we still going, we still got this. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. and we have a winner. The blue team takes control of the first round of Nintendo oh, Double Dare. <laughs> All right, awesome. Okay, so, uh, blue team, we're gonna have you sit over here so uh, can't discuss the answers here. All right, so once again, welcome everybody to Nintendo Double Dare, the 90s game show that <laughs> it has a little Nintendo flair that once again, this is brought to you by NintendoWorldReport.com. I am your host, Curtis Bonds, and you know, this is, this is a dream come true for me. I've always wanted to host a game show. I've always wanted to host a panel. And you know what? This is an incredible feeling for me right now. So I hope you, I hope you guys enjoy it because I put a lot of thought in this. And you know, my friend Carmen is right here. They're, they're helping out. They're helping out with the sound. And we're going to be putting on some awesome, awesome 90s nostalgic commercial breaks in between rounds just to kind of keep the tradition of, you know, 90s Nick. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here, but first I'm gonna explain the rules. If you've never seen Double Dare before, this is how the show works. I'm gonna be asking a question. Now, if the team I'm asking it to doesn't know the, doesn't know the answer, or think the other team doesn't have a clue, they can dare the other team for double the points. But be careful. If the other, the other team can also double dare you back, but for four times the amount. Now, if you know the answer, you can choose to answer it for four times points, or take one of our special digital challenges that I've set up right here on the Wii U of classic NES games, a couple of Super Nintendo games, an N64 game, you know, what have you. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. This is gonna be awesome. So let's do it. All right? All right. When founded in, in 1899, what did Nintendo originally produce? Hanafuda cards. That is correct. You have two points. All right, next question. How many different stages are there in the original Donkey Kong? Five. That is incorrect. There are four stages. So the controller goes wait, over wait, to- Wait, NES or, or, or arcade? Ar arcade. Arcade. Okay. Yeah, there, yeah, there's four stages in there. And yeah, there's three in the NES. I probably should have specified, but yeah. Either way. Okay, so control goes over to the blue team. No change in points. Still, score is still two to nothing. All right, next question. Which of the following was not a Wii launch title? Excite Truck, Sonic and the Secret Rings, or Rayman Raving Rabbids? No help from the audience, please. Secret Rings? Secret Rings is correct. All right, so it's two to one. Uh, I accidentally switched out of my questions. Whoops. <laughs> All right, uh, we got them right here. All right, what was the code name for the Game Boy Advance? Was it Project Atlantis, Project Dolphin, or Project Ice Dream? <laughs> yeah. Atlantis. Atlantis is correct. Two points for the red team. All right, next question. 
this is a tiny ass text. Uh, Panel de Pawn, a puzzle game on the Super Famicom, was converted into what game for Western territories? Tetris Attack. Tetris Attack is correct. That took a second. Yeah. I'm glad you thought of it. Score is three to two red team. Next question. Which color Pikmin is resistant to poison? White. White is correct. Yeah. All right. Next question. What is the U.S. name for the brain training games on the DS? Brain Age. Brain Age is correct. Five to two. What is the name of the magic Koopa that looks after baby Bowser in Yoshi's Island? Kamek. Kamek. Kamek is correct. The blue team is sweeping up. Or red. All right. Red team, I mean. Probably should use some neon lights in the background here, you know, just like Nickelodeon. But hey, you know, what can we do with such a limited budget? All right. Name four of the seven Koopalings. Iggy Roy Ludwig and five seconds. One, two, three, two, one, zero. Let me. Sorry, it was too late. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, control goes back over to the blue team. No change in points. The so score is six to two. Can you pick it up here? All right, this is actually going to be the last question, so we can actually tie it up if we can complete, if you think the red team does not have a clue, or you can take a digital challenge. In The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, who is the princess of Low Rule? Is it Hilda? Is it Sabrina? Or is it Salem? Oh, you have to you have to dare them oh. first. Oh. Dare. Okay, so all right, so red team. In the Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds. Who is the princess of Low Rule? Hilda, Sabrina, or Salem? Hilda. Hilda is correct. And that is the end of the round. And with seven points, the red team <laughs> are the winners. So great job, red team. You you guys played a good game. You guys know your Nintendo trivia, but you guys go, aren't going on empty hand, go, aren't going home empty-handed. So we'll go ahead and dig out a couple prizes for you. You will both be winning. You can choose who gets what. A Ruby and Tom Nook Amiibo. All right, so good job. Nice. Good job, on the team. You played a great game. All right, you guys just stick around. Uh, you know, you can go ahead and take a seat up there, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a short break. And when we come back, we'll pick two more teams of two here, right here on Nintendo Double Dare. We'll be right back. Help! We've been robbed! Stop! Stop, evildoers! Introducing Super Stretching Superhero Stretch Armstrong. Yes, Stretch Armstrong. Now stretching fun farther than ever before. He bends, he stretches, even ties and knots, but always returns to his original shape. How's he do that? He's been doing that since he was a kid. Stretch Armstrong from Cap Toys. Who else?